Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're making Yunnan style beef soup. It's very easy to make and it is one of the best soups that you should try. Yunnan is my favorite province because the cuisine there is unique and rustic. You will know what I'm talking about when we get to the recipe. You can use any cut of beef for the soup as long as it is good for braising. So I have got here a piece of beef meat. This is the end part of the sirloin tip. So it has quite a lot of silver skins and other connective tissues. Great for braising. This is beef rib. I like to use it because it has the perfect ratio between the meat and the bone. This is beef femur bone. The marrow inside will give your soup a rich and creamy texture. I know you're probably wondering, what is this? It's honeycomb tripe. I love to use it in the soup. If you don't like animal organs, you don't have to use it, but do your best to collect different cuts so you can have different textures and flavors in your soup. All right, we're going to blanch the beef first. Fill a big pot with lots of water. Add all the beef. Partially cover the pot. Turn the heat to high and bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, skim off all the scum by using a fine sieve. Blanching is completely optional. I'm doing this just to get rid of the gamey, beefy flavor, so my soup will come out with a clean look and taste. If you love the strong, beefy flavor, you can skip the blanching. Transfer the beef into a clay pot. Fill the clay pot with 2-3 to three liters of water. Turn the heat to high. Don't put on the lid, otherwise it will overflow when it comes to a boil. While waiting, we can gather the aromatics and spices. You will need 2 inches of ginger. I sliced it thinly. 2 scallions. I cut it into stalks. Put them into a spice bag along with 1 cinnamon stick, 1 star anise, 4 bay leaves, and 2 teaspoons of white peppercorns. The pot is nice and bubbling now. If there is more scum floating on the top, be sure to fish that out by using a fine sieve. The name of this dish is called Niu Pa Hu in Yunnan dialect. Niu is beef, Pa Hu means braised until tender. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's add the spice bag and switch the heat to the lowest. Then simmer this for two hours. Another spirit of this soup is that it is loaded with lethal amount of herbs. I have got here garlic, ginger, shallot, scallion, celery stock, Thai bird eye chilies, mint, cilantro, and cilantro. All these ingredients need to be finely diced. Yunnan is a special province. It has the largest number of ethnic minorities, so there are lots of different cultures here. It borders Myanmar, Vietnam, and Laos. It is connected with Thailand and Cambodia through Lantan Mekong River. With lots of catering collisions, Yunnan developed a complex, tropical, and interesting cuisine. If you cannot collect all these herbs, it is okay to skip one or two, or you can use other kinds of herbs that you love. Shallot looks like mini red onion. If you don't have it, you can use red onion as a replacement. Thai bird eye chili is very spicy. You can adjust the amount based on your tolerance. I was going to use Chinese celery, but I couldn't find it today, so I am using regular celery. The mint is very important. It makes the soup refreshing. Cut 
Cilantro smells and tastes just like cilantro, but ten times stronger. I'm using both because I have both. You can use one of them. If you don't like cilantro, you can use basil or other herbs. Cut a few large size limes and squeeze the juice out of them. There are no exact measurements. Everything is based on taste because this is a rustic dish comes from the countryside. If you want to know my preference, I will write down the amount in the description. You can check it out if you want. The soup has been simmered for two hours now. The broth become slightly milky white, which is just the way how I like. You could use an instant pot or a pressure cooker, but then the broth will be clear. It's your choice, though. Okay, let's turn off the heat for now. Remove all the beef and leave the broth behind. Take the meat off the bones. Which is really easy as it is so tender. The femur bone usually has some cartilage around the end joint. I like to eat those too. Discard the bones and the spice bag. Cut all the beef into bite-sized pieces. Be careful; it is very hot. I should have waited until the meat cools down. Put all the beef meat back into the clay pot. Bring it to a boil again. Add all the aromatics and some salt to taste, along with some Sichuan peppercorn powder. The lime juice should be the last. Add it in gradually, and you should turn off the heat right after. Not all the limes are equally sour, so you should taste and adjust until it is perfect. Mmm, I'm so excited to enjoy the soup. It is so good. What surprises me is that, although we used so much herbs, they mainly just tropicalized the broth. There are lots of fragrance going on, which reminds me of Thai food. Very garlicky, spicy, and refreshing, but it doesn't overpower the natural taste of the beef. You know what just came to my brain? You can cook noodles in this soup.、Mm, it will be amazing. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Soup Up Recipes Clay Pot. It may sound new to you, but clay pot is a traditional cookware in Chinese cuisine. It has a high heat capacity. The material retains the heat, then redistributes it to the food slowly and evenly. The heavy duty wall allows for better browning. Then you can maintain low and slow heat on the stove top or in the oven. I love the blue top and the hammer design. It functions as a beautiful serving piece that keeps the food warm on the table. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Go check it out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.